Yo, we're gonna be talking about DraftKings Sportsbook in this video, and I mean step zero. Should you even get DraftKings to step 10? If you sign up, how do you make serious profits off of DraftKings? We're gonna be discussing all that, all the pros, cons, secrets of DraftKings. Everything is gonna be in this video. So if you haven't seen any of my other content, my name's Alex. I do a lot of educational sports betting videos. I've used DraftKings um, for over five years or maybe about five years now since they first launched in New Jersey in 2018. I've made over $100,000 on DraftKings. It's one of the most profitable sports books, I believe, out there. Here you can see my profit and loss from DraftKings in 2021. And again, the point of this video is not to just talk about my profits. It's really to break down how you can make serious profits off of DraftKings as well. So let's go ahead. Let's get into it. So the first question before anything is, should you even sign up for DraftKings? And the first, I guess, point there is DraftKings isn't available everywhere in the world, right? Sports betting is done, at least in the United States, it's done on a state-by-state -state basis. So DraftKings is legal in certain states like New Jersey, Arizona, but it's not legal in other states like California. So if DraftKings is available in your location, if it is, then you should definitely sign up. Right, and the main reason is more sports books is objectively better as a sports better. More sports books means more outs, right? So you can see in this picture right here, books have different odds from one another. So you can see DraftKings is giving the best odds on Auburn at plus 210, and most other sports books are around plus 195, plus 200. So DraftKings is giving you the best price or the best odds on Auburn, right? So as a sharp sports better, you know, I've used over 40 sportsbook accounts, FanDuel, DraftKings, all of them, because if you want to make money and you want to get serious about your sports betting, you need a bunch of books because you always want to be getting the best possible odds, the best possible line, right? You're never going to make money off of, you know, any sports book if you're placing bets at, let's say, plus one, you know, 95, when every other sports book is offering plus 200 or better, you're getting ripped off. So you always need to be line shopping, as it's called, and getting the best possible odds. So that's the first reason you should get DraftKings. It's another bookmaker to have in your arsenal. It's another book that has profitable betting opportunities, that is setting their lines independently. And sometimes they're offering really good odds, really good prices on certain bets. So you want to have this book in your sports betting arsenal. So long story short, get DraftKings. That's the first reason. So again, the first reason to have multiple sports books and the reason you should get DraftKings is they're often offering the best possible odds, right? This is a sports book in a lot of different locations in the United States as well as Canada. And you can see right here for Michigan State versus Marquette, which is a college basketball game, DraftKings is offering the best line at minus 110 on the under 141. So if we click into the odds, it's like, okay, for money line odds, Points Bet is offering the best odds on Marquette at minus 140, along with Resorts World. So those are two other sports books in New York. And Bet Online is offering the best odds on Michigan State at plus 138. Right. So as a sharp sports better, we would never touch with a 10 foot pole Michigan State plus 125. It's a horrible bet, right? Because DraftKings is not offering you any value. You're getting 13 cents, 13 points lower than Bet Online, another sports book is. So we know we're getting ripped off if we're placing our bet on DraftKings at plus 125, right? And then for the under, you can see oh, wow, most sports books have the line at 140. On DraftKings, we can get the under 141, so we're getting a full point of value on DraftKings. So we're getting a full point of value to the market, right? On Caesars, you're betting under 140, whereas on DraftKings, you can get under 141. So these differences may seem small, but over the course of the long run, you know, betting on under 141 as opposed to under 140, so if there's 140 points in this game, we're going to win under 141 on DraftKings and everyone else betting under 140 would push. Like these differences make a big deal long term. So as a sharp sports better, it's, a, you know, essential to always get the best possible line. So you may be like Alex, like getting slightly better odds from book to book. That's not really attractive. That's not a good enough reason for me to take my time and sign up for DraftKings. So I'm going to give you a really simple really good reason to sign up for DraftKings, and the reason is free money. They offer a sign-up bonus. So you can see right here, their current one 
is you bet $5 on any money line and you can turn it into $150 in profit. You bet five, doesn't matter. You can pick a super favored team. And if your team wins, they're gonna give you $150 extra in bonus funds. So you may be like, Alex, there's no way this promo can be profitable. Why would DraftKings offer this promo if it were actually profitable? And the reason is these sports books offer signup bonuses to try to incentivize you to sign up for their platform, right? DraftKings, FanDuel, Caesars, Betfred, all these sports books do basically the exact same thing, right? They accept bets and they try to make money off you. So for sports books, they know, okay, every new customer we get will maybe lose a thousand to two thousand dollars per year on our platform if they're betting with us regularly, which is what sports books assume, by the way. So they know, okay, if we offer a sign up bonus that's maybe worth a hundred, two hundred bucks, we're gonna make our money back super quickly. We just need to get people on our platform. You know, it's kind of like a restaurant giving out, you know, free appetizers because they know a lot of people who come will also get drinks, will also get, you know, dinner, whatever. It's the same exact reason. All these sports books, they're in fierce competition with one another to get sports better to, to sign up. So they all offer lucrative bonuses, FanDuel, Caesars, DraftKings. They all accept bets, do basically the exact same thing. And they all offer these sign up bonuses as a way to try to get you to register for their platform. But a lot of them are really, really lucrative. I've actually done a video previously, you can see right here, and I'll link it in the end screen. But the sports books, if you went to every single state and you signed up for every legal sports book, just the legal sports books, Caesars, DraftKings, FanDuel, Bet Rivers, Points Bet, all those sports books, you could net over $18,000 in profit. $18,000 in profit if you signed up for every single sports book just doing their sign up bonus. So you don't even have to use DraftKings for three months, whatever. You bet five on any favored team. If they win, you get $150 in bonus bets. It's literally insane. Once you register for DraftKings, you're going to be $150 richer. So let's flip over to my screen. We can go through it quickly. So here you can see the promo currently available on DraftKings. And again, sometimes these numbers slightly change. $5 to win $150, 5 to win $250. So again, depending on when you're watching this video, these promos change from time to time. But regardless, they're almost always really profitable. So DraftKings just says bet $5 on any money line. And if your bet wins, so you got to read the terms. I always recommend that. And if your bet wins, then you're going to get an additional bonus of $150 from DraftKings. So this is a super profitable promo. So for example, we could pick a huge favorite for tomorrow. I mean, we could even pick the Bucks minus 2,400, but I just pulled up the Grizzlies. So the Grizzlies are minus 950 favorites. They're 13 point spread favorites. They are huge favorites against the Rockets to win this game. So if we bet $5 on DraftKings, we're betting five to win 552. So 52 cents total in profit, right? And then if the Grizzlies win, we get an additional $150. So we can run through kind of the numbers really quickly. But you can also imagine maybe you go over to FanDuel. FanDuel is offering the best line on the Rockets, as you can see on Odds Jam, plus 660. So you could even hedge a little bit of this, right? So if you put $5 on the Grizzlies money line, you literally only have to deposit $5 into DraftKings to get $150, basically. You do not need a lot of money to make over $100 off of DraftKings. And then if the Grizzlies win, which they're very likely to win, right, you're going to lose your $5 on FanDuel because you hedged on the Rockets at plus 660 odds, right, which is the best price you can get. So you can hedge on the Rockets. And so on FanDuel, if the Grizzlies win, which is the very likely outcome, they're almost a 10 to 1 favorite. They're almost minus 1,000 money line odds. So if the Grizzlies win, we're down 5 on FanDuel. But we're up 53, 52 cents, whatever, in profit on DraftKings, which you can see right here, right? So we're up 52 cents in profit on um, uh, DraftKings. So we're down 447, but the Grizzlies won, right? So we get an $150 bonus bet from DraftKings. We get this $150 in bonus bets because the Grizzlies won. So we're not actually down 447. We're actually up over $100, Right now, on the other hand, if the Rockets pull off a crazy upset, right, the really big underdogs and they win, we're down five on DraftKings. We don't get a bonus, but we bet five dollars on the Rockets plus 660. So we're up five times 6.6, 6, 
$33 on FanDuel. So we have $28 in real cash profit, not even any of this bonus BS. So you can see, literally, regardless of what happens, you can hedge this to make money, right? If you wanted to, you could change FanDuel to maybe $15 on the Rockets. Then your profit would go to this, right? It would be negative 15. So now you'd be down $14.47 if the Grizzlies win, but you'd be up your $150 bonus bet. And then if the Rockets win, you'd be up $94 just based on, you know, your wager. So long story short, super profitable promo. You can hedge it. You cannot hedge it. It should be a no-brainer. The sign-up bonuses absolutely worth taking advantage of. Literally, it's free money. So any questions you have, you can reach out. But let's get on to the next reason to sign up for DraftKings. So you can make a pretty easy $100 signing up for DraftKings. But a common question, at least I get asked, is, is it safe? That's the first question. And the second is, oh, doesn't it take a while to sign up for the sports book? And it is super safe to sign up for DraftKings, right? This is a super highly regulated industry. It's a publicly traded U.S. company under a lot of scrutiny. If you put in $1,000, they're not just going to steal your $1,000 one day. It is extremely safe. They are super regulated to sign up for these sports books, right? Some people get a little weirded out. They're like, oh, they asked for my address. They asked for the last four digits of my social security number. And I know the first time I signed up for a sports book, I thought the same thing. I was like, it's a little weird. They need this information, but they need it to make sure you're not under the age of 21, right? These sports books are highly regulated, so they have to, by law, collect this information. DraftKings, FanDuel, Caesars, they all do it. They need the last four of your social security number. They need your name. They need your address to make sure you can actually, you know, you're actually old enough to bet on these platforms. This information is required. Now, the second thing, how long does it take to sign up for DraftKings? Literally, you can do it in two minutes. You can be $100 richer tomorrow. I'll show you how easy it is to sign up for DraftKings. So I've used over 40 sportsbooks, DraftKings, FanDuel, Caesars, all of them, right? And I'm going to show you how easy it is to sign up for DraftKings. So email, username, password, whatever, right? You put in all this information, you hit create account, and literally, that's basically it. So then you hit next, and this is the last step. What is your name, your date of birth? Again, they need all this information um, for regulations. The last four digits of your social security number, your address, and then you are good to go. Literally, you can do this in less than two minutes. I've had over 40 sportsbook accounts. It is not time intensive. Whenever I go to a new state, if there's a sign-up bonus I can take advantage of, even if I'm only going to be in that state for a week, two weeks, I'm easily doing this. It just takes two minutes to sign up for a sportsbook right? And they're all a tab click away. So you want to get Caesars next? Wow. Take a look at this. They have a $1,250 signup bonus. So a lot better than DraftKings, $1,250. Same thing. Signing up takes, you know, just a couple minutes. And this signup bonus, unlike the DraftKings one, isn't worth just a hundred bucks. It's worth over 500 bucks if you know what you're doing, right? So these sports books, super easy to sign up for. So once you've signed up for DraftKings, I mean, it is super easy to use right? Whatever you want to bet on is probably on the platform. DraftKings typically has 50,000 odds on their site at any given time, at the minimum. Sometimes they have over 100,000, right? So let's say you want to bet on the NBA. You head over to the NBA tab, and once it loads, you're going to see, wow, I can bet all these different things, point spreads, totals, and they offer a ton of different options, like most sports books, for you to wager on. You want to bet alternate totals? Maybe in the Wizards game, you're like, oh, I'm not sure about the over-under 224, but I know for a fact this game's probably going over 213 half. So you can get a lower number and take the over 213 half at a different price. You want to bet on player props. It's all right here. Practically anything you can want to bet on will be on DraftKings, right? You want to bet on, let's say, who's going to win the NBA championship? That's going to be under futures right here. So it takes some time to learn how to navigate these sports books, learn where everything is. But college basketball, right, halves, whatever you want to bet on, it's going to be on DraftKings. Tons of different things for you to take advantage of. Player props, futures, regular markets, everything you can imagine is just a tab click away. So DraftKings Sportsbook, super easy to sign up for. It takes literally just a couple minutes. 50,000 odds. You can bet on practically anything you can imagine. Will there be a run in the first inning of a baseball game? It's actually a pretty popular type of bet. You can bet it on DraftKings, right? And they offer you a sign-up bonus, so pretty lucrative, free $100, $150, depending on when you check. 
just for signing up. But these bonuses, so that sign up bonus, they actually offer bonuses much smaller on an everyday basis, right? So practically whenever you're checking DraftKings, they're gonna have a profitable promo. And the reason is they wanna hook people on to logging into their sportsbook account, to logging into DraftKings every day. FanDuel offers some promos on a daily basis, Caesars does, so DraftKings does. It's a loss leader for them. They know most bettors when they're on the sportsbook will place some degenerate bets, lose money. So these books offer promos on basically a daily basis to try to keep you coming back, to try to get you hooked. And a lot of these promos are super profitable. Again, they're loss leaders for DraftKings. It's like a restaurant giving out free appetizers because they know people are gonna buy drinks and dinner. So let's head over to DraftKings and I'll show you some of the insane promos and rewards that they offer on basically a daily basis. So again, these sports books will offer promos on basically a daily basis to try to keep you coming back. So you can see what DraftKings has tonight for the World Baseball Championship is a risk-free bet. You can go in right here and it says if you bet on the USA to win at the World Baseball Classic tonight against Japan, if your bet loses, you get your money back, right? So you can place a $15 bet on the USA. If you win, you have profit in your account. You make money off of your bet. And if you lose, they give you a refund. So this is basically just free money, right? You place a bet. If you win, you keep the profit. If you lose, you get your money back. This is a no-brainer promo, and again, it's a loss leader for DraftKings. All these sportsbooks offer promos on a daily basis. Essentially, sometimes sportsbooks will skip a day because they want to keep you coming back to their platform. And these promos, I mean, you can see, I think I bet it already, is these promos are super lucrative. So if we go in here, you can see right here, I have the USA money line for 15 bucks, minus 155 odds. So if the USA loses, I get my money back. If they win, I make money. Seems pretty good. Another thing DraftKings has are these crowns. So crowns are essentially loyalty points whenever we place a bet, right? So if I go ahead and I bet the over in this game, I'll get crowns. These are essentially reward points. And these reward points, as you can see if I click on crowns, can be redeemed for money. So just based on a couple days betting on DraftKings, I can get an available I have an available balance of 10,487 crowns, which is like getting cash back. It's like having cash back on a credit card. They're just going to give me 19 free dollars, right? So I'm just redeeming my loyalty points from placing profitable bets and profitable promos. They're giving me loyalty points that I can just exchange for money. So definitely going to do that and I'll go ahead and I'll confirm that and you can see that's right here. So I just got an extra free $19 in my account. Pretty good. So another benefit about DraftKings, and this won't apply to everyone, but is they have a lucrative VIP program. So the same way I said DraftKings offers a sign-up bonus, they offer these promos on basically a daily basis to try to get bettors hooked. For the most serious sports bettors, usually the bettors who wager the most, a lot of sports books will offer VIP programs, and DraftKings is no different, right? So some of these promos... VIP promos are basically free money. So here you can see literally insane. They offered me $5,000. This is literally an email from DraftKings VIP just to refer a friend, right? So some of these promos are insane. Sometimes you get, you know, free tickets to baseball games, free items, right? Free speakers, whatever. You get stuff like that as well. But an additional benefit is they'll offer you, if they think you're betting a lot on their platform and you're loyal to them, they'll offer these lucrative VIP promos that you can kind of see right here popping up, right? So there's some pretty good ones if you take a look and you can email me if you have any questions about sportsbooks, sportsbook VIP programs, if you're looking to get serious about your betting. So again, just in terms of the promos, bonuses, VIP program, it is absolutely worth signing up for DraftKings, but this video wouldn't be complete if I talked about how do I make most of my money off DraftKings? What are the strategies I'm using? So we'll go ahead, we'll get into it. And again, most of these strategies, they're not unique to DraftKings, right? They can be applied to any sports book. If you're betting on Bovada, if you're, you know, betting on prize picks or FanDuel, the same strategies, finding value, getting an edge over the sports books can be applied, but we'll make this video DraftKings specific. So let's flip over to my screen. I'll kind of explain how I make money off of DraftKings on a consistent basis. Let's get into it. 
So the first strategy for making money off DraftKings is risk-free money off DraftKings. And I know that sounds a little too good to be true, but it's called arbitrage betting. We have tons of other video tutorials about it. And essentially, you know, we've explained that DraftKings, they probably have 50,000 plus odds on their site at any given time. This is just NBA player points. Then you can go to alternate points. DraftKings has tons and tons of different markets right? So essentially, sometimes these sports books, they all want to be unique and set lines independently. So sometimes they get so out of sync with each other that you can bet on equal and opposite outcomes. So in this case, it would be dry sidle over three and a half shots on goal on DraftKings at plus 125 and his under at minus 115 on bet rivers. So due to the difference in odds, the massive discrepancy between DraftKings and bet rivers, and it looks like bet rivers is really the one screwing up here, they're giving you the under at minus 115 for dry sidle when all the other sports books are pricing this around minus 160-ish, right? So it looks like Bet Rivers is the one screwing up here, but essentially because of this massive difference in odds, you can place a bet on both sports books, equal and opposite outcomes, and make a risk-free profit. That is called arbitrage betting. Again, this is how I made my first $40,000 sports betting. So this is called an arbitrage calculator, and it will tell you, yo, if you have $500 to put on the over on DraftKings at plus 125 odds, you have $600 to put on the under on BetRivers at minus 115, you'll make a risk-free profit of 23.26, which is a 2.07% return. So you're literally day trading the sports books and taking advantage of inefficiencies, right? Due to massive differences in bookmaker odds in these few rare betting opportunities where they screw up, right? Arbitrage isn't super common. We can see one, two. So out of the millions of odds across the sports betting market, only two of these plays are currently arbitrage opportunities with DraftKings. So you're literally day trading the sports books when they screw up, betting overs and unders, equal and opposite outcomes on two sports books to make a risk-free profit, right? It's a grinding game. 2% a day risk-free is, let's say you're betting $1,000, is $20 a day. 2% a day, 60% a month, 30 days in a month. So you can literally make 60% ROI on capital that you're betting on DraftKings risk-free by arbitrage betting right? So odds jam is just constantly updating all of these lines. You got to move quick to get in on the best opportunities, right? And you may not have all these sports books. You need multiple books to arbitrage bet. So here we can see one with the Oilers team total. You could arbitrage bet this, make a risk-free profit of 0.52% if you have DraftKings and Pinnacle, right? Two different sports books. So you're always going to need two sports books to arbitrage bet. So the strategy I use mainly now because it's more profitable, it's called positive expected value betting, positive EV betting, right? And essentially what Odds Jam does is it's pulling in odds from, you know, hundreds of different sports books and just pointing out where DraftKings is slipping up. Where can sports bettors get an edge, right? And what you're going to notice is in this tennis match, you can get over eight and a half first set total game. So it's a kind of random bet. But again, as a sharp better, I don't wake up in a given day and say, oh, I'm going to bet on the Knicks, right? I go out like a day trader, like a savvy investor, and I say, I want to look for value in the market. And what you can see is with a 0.48% profit margin, so it's a lower profit margin on this play, you'll often see 3%, 4%, is you can get the first set total games on DraftKings at minus 175. FanDuel has this minus 278, Pinnacle minus 217, and points bet minus 220. So we head over to DraftKings. Here's the play, and I'll try to bet it. And I'll put 500 bucks. And this is the con of all sports books, not all sports books, but a lot of sports books, is DraftKings says, hey, you've made way too much money off us. We're only going to give you a max wager of 3208. So a lot of people ask me, they're like, wow, you've made a lot of money off DraftKings. Why don't you start betting 10 times as much? So I'll place this bet. And making money sports betting, it really is that easy, right? Find plays with a mathematical edge. Find where DraftKings is slipping up. And the Odds Jam Positive EV tool is, again, constantly updating millions of odds across sports books to point out these discrepancies for you, right? And you can see first set total games over eight and a half, minus 175 on DraftKings, huge discrepancy, right? No other book giving you better than minus 217. Pinnacle, the sharpest bookmaker in the world, has this at minus 217. So you can see here the clear value on DraftKings, and then you just hit the bet. 
It really is that simple. You're day trading sports books when they're slipping up and offering too much value. You're like a savvy investor, finding value in the market, finding bets where you're getting too much value and you have a profitable play, right? So I ended up betting this, but again, this is the reason why sports betting is a great side hustle. You can easily make tens of thousands of dollars off DraftKings with positive EV arbitrage betting, if not more. But again, this is the hard part about sports betting. It's not super scalable because at any point, DraftKings can be like, yo, you're really smart. So we're going to cut down your betting limits because you're making too much money off us. So this is the play I ended up locking in. Positive EV betting, finding discrepancies in sportsbook odds and taking advantage of those profitable plays. So hopefully this video was helpful. Any questions, again, I'll leave my email in the description and let's make money.